someone who did come to the rescue was a guy who's known for dressing up as a grandma in a dress and stuff. <laughs> I kid you not, Tyler Perry. Sorry, Tyler, I couldn't resist. You may not like his movies. I know Spike Lee doesn't, paging Spike Lee. You might not like his TV shows, even though he has a gazillion of them. And you know, you might not like them, but you can't deny them. Tyler Perry is the modern, he's the GOAT. He has, he's the first black owner of a film studio based out in Atlanta. He has, he makes movies, he makes TV shows, he's buddies with people like Oprah Winfrey. He has celebrated so many people uh, in the culture. You think of people like Cicely Tyson who recently passed away. He honored her whilst she was alive with a part of the studio named after her, I believe, as well as dignitaries in the entertainment industry. He has celebrated people. He has stood by and shone a light on the plethora of African-American talent when institutions like the Academy Award have snubbed them, where the phones of Hollywood are not ringing them up, booking them for gigs. I remember the guy who used to be the son-in-law in the Cosby show when some trades were poking fun at him that his work had dried up and he was working in Trader Joe's. Tyler came in and offered him work on some of his TV programs. This guy has done a lot of good. He started off being a struggling gospel uh, play writer, literally living in his car. He never gave up on the dream and the dream didn't give up on him. He became successful first in the black gospel Christian circuits. He moved from plays to independent movies. Those movies went kaboom. They blew up and spun a whole industry out of the man Tyler Perry. Does it feel like I'm bigging him up too much? I don't think I'm bigging him up, up enough. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of some of his movies. I feel they're a little bit mushy, mushy, smushy, smushy. You know, he's doing it. He's employing people. He's giving people on the front end of the camera jobs as well as on the back end. And it seems like, according to these reports, he's a jolly good fellow. Man like Tyler Perry, I salute you. If you don't know who he is, start off Googling him. You realize you've seen his face somewhere before. One of his best roles outside of his own movies is a director and he acts occasionally in his projects as well, as well as being an uber producer, was not his small role in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, playing Baxter Stockman. That's for my nerd friends out there. But his role with Ben Affleck and Rosamund Pike in Gone Girl, that was a really dark but well crafted movie. I I I I just love, I really like that movie. And he was playing a lawyer who was very straight laced, but he really brought his A game acting chops wise. And because I'm an actor myself, I do look for those things, you know. I mean, Ben Affleck weren't playing. He brought his A game. And Rosamund Pike brought her triple A game. She was the, the most valuable player in that movie. And Tyler's thinking, boy, hey, you ain't doing me like that. If I'm going to be one of the few black people in this movie, maybe token, <laughs> I'm going to bring up my level. And he came and he delivered a stellar performance, I think, in that movie. So Tyler Perry, a bit Marmite as well in that you got those who love his content, those who loathe his content, but what you can't do is deny his content because he is a one-man industry. Why am I bigging him up today? Hmm. Maybe I want to roll in your movie. Tyler, call me! <laughs> call me, Tyler. This is probably like a l one long kind of a shameless uh, audition request to be in one of a Tyler Perry movie. But, you know, you got to try, right? Brother's got to eat. <laughs> But no, on a serious note, he's come into prominence in this story of royalty because he was a black knight, <laughs> see what I did there? Coming in to rescue our famous royal couple when they were struggling to find somewhere to live where they could have security, Tyler Perry gave them his LA mansion to stay in temporarily with his own security detail. What a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. 
this guy who's African-American coming from reasonable, I understand, modest stock, living in his car on a dream to have his plays put out. He's now, I believe, a billionaire. I think he's a billionaire, or if not very close to it, mo movie mogul and entertainment industry lead, um, uh, mogul. He's giving his house to a Holly, an ex-Hollywood actress star become princess and a born prince of the most famous and probably the most significant royal family on the planet. What an upgrade. Can you imagine if you told young Tyler when he's living in his car, you know, all squished in his vehicle, you know what, you know what my guy? One day you're going to have a British royal prince living in your yard. Yeah, get out of here. You're, you're jiving, man. It'd be almost like, you know, who I can imagine sweets. You lying. You're never going to have a prince in your house from coming to America. It's almost like Clarence is like saying, yeah, man, I was living in my car. One day I became a big movie book, movie studio boss. And then Prince Harry came living in my house. You lying. You never met Prince Harry and Meghan. That kind of thing. So uh, that's awful impression. But, you know, I can imagine no one would believe if you went in a time machine and told Tyler this was going to be, this was going to happen, he would not be receiving that. Morty, it's about your children. Kind of back to the future thing. And if that don't encourage you in your life that any, the most strangest things can happen, even fact being stranger than fiction, then I don't know what would do that. It's crazy when I think about how Tyler came to their aid, how... And he didn't say it. He never told anyone. I think, it, I think they were the first people before this interview to intimate that he'd been staying in, they'd been staying in his house. You know, me and you, we'd probably be going, oh yeah, we're entertaining some very high profile guests. You know, we'd probably be dropping it in, you know, going to pick up a pint of milk in the, in the local 7-Eleven. We would be busting to let people know we've got the most famous you know, one of the most famous couples on the globe chilling in our spare room. It's mental, isn't it? But I, I think this is a guy whose life story encourages me as someone who pursued their dream against the odds, who even when they received their dream had been pretty much people spitting on the dream, telling it's not good enough, you know, it's not representing black people, it's negative. And maybe there is some legitimate critiques of some of his material, sure. But we don't give people enough credit for their accomplishments and being trailblazers. Am I a fan of all of his content? No. But I think he's a genius. And you can add to that, I think he's a great guy too. Maybe I'm biased because I'm a Christian and he's a Christian, so... And he has this real conviction to, this is quite controversial, some Christians believe in acting like Jesus. <gasps> you know, I know, it's revolutionary concept, I know, but there are those who follow Christianity who actually believe they need to be a bit more like the founder, you know? What it says on the tin, and I believe with his philanthropic work for his charity um, uh, donations and the causes he speaks out on and now add to this housing royal couples in his house I think he's shown that he's someone who lives what he says and there's a passage of scripture in the bible you know that says by their fruits you will know them and from here it looks like he has some great fruit in his bowl but what do you think maybe you disagree with what I said about Tyler Perry maybe you think negative thoughts i hope you don't but whatever you think put it in the comment section below not to